Hi family and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I know I look crazy, I'm trying out the Kayla and Sosu palette and before I finish this makeup look I want to apply my foundation and I did split this, oh I got some eyeshadow here, I did split this video in two because I just like doing that. I'm going to use today Today I'm going to try this 007 Genius Feather Light Foundation that I got and I have it in shade Sand Beige, Sand Beige. <coughs> I don't know if that's right shade because I did got it in my package when I bought a couple of other products so I didn't know that this is going to arrive but it did like a present from uh, Coco Panda and I'm happy. So I'm putting my primer on our glass and I don't know nothing about this foundation. I'm not going to watch any reviews. I'm not going to watch anything. I want to see and have my own, op own opinion before I go and cheat. And I'm going to take this primer. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to try it with a beauty blender or, and also with a brush so to see which one is going to work better. It says here to shake before use. Oh, it's very liquidy. So we'll see how this is going to look. I don't know if it's light coverage, medium, high coverage. It doesn't say anything on the package. Or it does. No, foundation liquidy. Genius foundation. Genius foundation. I hope it's a genius foundation. So on this side, I'm going to try it with a beauty blender. Oh, it has this kind of applicator. So let's try it. I don't know if this is going to be a good shade for me. Whoop. It's a little bit light, but it can work. Hmm, where is the foundation? I can't see it. It's very light. It feels like water with some a little bit of oil in it. It feels a little bit oily. But the coverage is light to medium. But it doesn't feel like I have anything on. I mean, I can see a little bit of the coverage, but I don't see that I have foundation on when I come close. I'm going to use a brush on the other side just to see if I prefer that. Where is my brush? It's very liquidy. Whoa, whoa. Uh, it feels very light, but it feels like it has oil. Like I have, you know, a serum oily or oil. I don't like that because I do have oily teas now. So we'll see. I'm going to wear this foundation the whole day. I have combo skin, <coughs> oily teas on. Sorry, oily teas. Oh, it's not going on with the brush. Oh no, it looks cakey. It's easier to blend, but it looks very cake. No, no, not the brush. That's not much better. It just sits weird on my skin with the brush. So light coverage, medium. It looks like it even my skin tone a little bit, but I still see uh, <laughs> a little bit light. Hold on. I'm going to shake it more. And I'm going to put another layer to see if it's buildable. I love trying new foundations. And 007 is very affordable brand, so. It feels a little bit cakey on my nose now when I build it up. So this is maybe not the best foundation to build up. Light coverage, couple of drops, and I'll try to kind of make it sink into this now. It just 
looks more and more cakey as more I build it up. So it's not very buildable foundation. Let's just say that. Maybe this is good for dry skin. I do not know. But for my oily combo, no, not really working. I mean, it doesn't look terrible now when I really work it into the skin. Uh, feels like I don't have anything. Just a couple of drops oil. And it's not a bad feeling. It's very light. But I can still see my spots. So, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting, interesting foundation. Mm. It looks good right now on my skin. Feels like I... Uh, it does look just a little bit cakey here and here where I try to build it up more. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. But we are here and it is what I have to go on. So let's see how the concealer is going to work on top. Revolution. Feels like feel like this concealer is going to be darker. No. <laughs> Doesn't go with the foundation. No. Feels like this concealer is not blending very well over, on, over this foundation. Maybe because the foundation has so much oil in it that it's just grabbing you know, cert certain places and making the under eye look patchy and uneven. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty powder to set everything. Got some powder and foundation on in my hair. It's a little bit light, so I need a bronzer. Let's see how the products are. It's slight coverage. I don't like this coverage. I like it more full coverage foundation. So then I'm going in with the bronzer. No, it looks like it's grabbing on certain places. Like here. Can you see? It's not really... It's not really blending well. I can see a line here. I don't like that. I'm going to take off my bake. And I'm going to take the same blush from this palette. The blush is going on nice, though I feel like my bronzer didn't really blend like it does over other foundations. Well, I'm not hating it. It doesn't look that bad. It just feels a little bit, it's light, so I don't like that. Uh, the shade is wrong, but it feel like my bronzer didn't really blend on certain parts of my face where it it could blend better. And it's not full coverage at all, it's light coverage, and it kind of sits very funny here. It looks cakey over my lip. Hmm? We'll see. So right now it's... Let me show you. I'm going to finish my makeup. I already I do another video, so I'm going to go and film that. It's 10:30, and I'm going to finish my makeup look and finish that video, and I'll be back to do a check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back. So I have finished my makeup look. I've finished filming this video. So right now it's almost 12 o'clock. So about half an hour I'll be having this foundation, and I hate the shade. It's a little bit too light for me, but it looks a little bit dry. It's kind of sitting very nice on my cheeks, but sitting very funny on my nose and my chin. And uh, no, on forehead doesn't look like I have foundation on, on some parts of my skin. It's very light coverage, so I prefer darker, cover fuller cover coverage, but it sits very strange on my nose. It looks cakey. So I have oily skin and this feels like an oil, so 
uh, I don't know. I, I, we will see how it's going to last on me. Maybe it's going to melt well with my natural oils. I don't know. But we'll see. So I'll do another check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm tired. It's 7.30 and I've been having this foundation for eight hours around and I'm so tired I need to remove this makeup. So let's see how everything is looking. I did get oily on my T-zone and uh, the foundation is gone here around my chin and around my mouth, but that has to do that I just reviewed the whole nude mini nude volume 2 liquid lipstick from jeffree star so i've been <laughs> removing them of course i've removed some of the lipstick but my foundation is gone around here because i've been touching my face a lot but otherwise it does look okay i mean it doesn't look cakey anymore on my nose it just looks shiny and it it held up pretty good it, really i have to say but this is very light coverage so this is for um no makeup makeup day it's not a long lasting foundation but it's not the worst and it's not bad so do i recommend it yes if you need uh, everyday foundation that is very light and you have a more dry skin i think this will work good for you uh, otherwise um yeah i love my eye makeup i think it looks good but yeah it's not the best face makeup for me but it's not the worst either so it's not the best but it's not the worst either do i love my eye makeup uh yeah now right now i have headache and i'm too tired so i'm going to remove my makeup i hope you like this video if you did give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video bye